Philcom project is a 10-year project with Saudi Aramco, and we're trying to investigate new fuels and new engines. So uh, as uh, diesel engines and compression ignition engines and spark ignited engines move together, become more similar, uh, what is the right fuel? It's not gonna be gasoline, it's not gonna be diesel. What, what is it, what should it look like? And can we design it? Can we uh, choose a fuel and guide the engine development? as opposed to the fuel being reactive. In order to do this, we need two things. We need experiments, very high quality, fundamental experiments to study the combustion process. And the Clean Combustion Research Center at KAUST, from its inception, built many of these uh, fundamental facilities to study basic properties of fuels. In addition, they need to also perform simulations. Anytime you need to design new types of fuels, new types of processes in industry. Now, the primary way of achieving that is through computer simulation. So they also needed strong capabilities in developing numerical methods, developing algorithms, and high performance computing resources. So one could study different types of fuels and thereby develop new types of uh, combustion technologies and new types of fuels. Uh, we have significantly upgraded our modeling capabilities uh, utilizing Converge, the commercial code, and we can actually precisely predict how this engine spray uh, develops inside the engine, how they burn all this combustion. So we can pretty much replicate what you can do in the uh, laboratory using computers. And cost also, we have a lot of uh, the, the uh, computer hardware resources. So we are actually uh, predicting many of those engine scenarios without really relying on uh, many, many expensive experimental measurements. Um, and the fruits of this to us in CCRC uh, has been fantastic. Our students have learned um, great things. They have really gotten a perspective of uh, industrial importance of the, of the fuel research. But then they worked on those problems in the academic fashion and they saw that how what is relevant to Saudi Aramco or other or uh, similar industries can be translated to an academic research. Uh, it's been a pleasure to do research always, but now to do research that is directed and has a immediate uh, solution uh, is actually very exciting. So I'm very happy to find projects such that have immediate solutions. Uh, I'm particularly impressed with uh, a program that we work on called Pre-Ignition and it is to prevent uh, serious knocking problems in gasoline engines. The Fuelcom project is uh, possibly the best example of uh, interaction with the industry here at KAUST uh, with, uh, with Aramco. Um, it's not only this uh, PPC or gasoline compression ignition, as it's also called, uh, it's also the knock project and uh, trying to understand how different gasolines uh, knock at uh, what can be can be done about that. So it's, it's a very good example of linking the, the combustion process to the actual fuel properties. Well, it's been a fantastic opportunity for all of us in the center to understand better what the real world problems are. Uh, we like to be in our comfortable bubble, uh, our technical expertise, but working on real problems, which are much more complicated than the problems we typically work with, uh, forces us to expand our uh, horizon and our uh, skill sets. So I think it's been uh, really an excellent opportunity. And it's great for our students, because our students, of course, are here to find eventually jobs. And uh, having industrial relevant experience is very beneficial for their careers. Fuelcom is not only focused to exchange research and knowledge between Saudi Aramco and KAUST but also exchange personnel. I'm an example of those cases who's currently affiliated to both Saudi Aramco and KAUST. It started in 2014, when I was newly hired in Saudi Aramco. I was sent to KAUST on a six-month assignment as a visiting researcher to broaden my knowledge in basic combustion and simulation. The outcome of that work that involved chemical kinetic modeling and shock tube ignition delay time measurements was published in one of the highly regarded journals in combustion. The successful experience was one of the main ingredients to justify the sponsorship I got from my management to continue my graduate studies. 
to highlight all the achievements and all the research that has been accomplished in the FuelCom program, we have recently created a, a nice website. One can go and navigate through the pages and see all the various projects that have been worked on in the last few years and the projects in the coming years. You can see all the accomplishments, uh, the tools that we have developed, the publications that have come about, uh, what were the focus of different research projects, what was achieved, who were working on those research projects. There's a wealth of information in there.